Howdy buckaroos, I'm Teddy. Howdy buckaroos, I'm Johnny. Look at this squash buckler. I'm a great Whatever. Um, yeah, let's get to the intro though. Agreed. And this is our last episode of this year. Yeah. So this show will mainly consist of 8th graders. And there are a lot leaving. Like Izzy, Elsie, Maddie, and Gage. We also have Sylvie, Allie, and Avery. See you later, Alligator. Bye. Hi, I'm Elsie. And I'm Avery. A few days ago, we went to our, on a tour to our high schools. And we're going to tell you things about it. First, there were cheerleaders and people doing playing the drums. It was so cool. Then we went on the tour around the high school. We learned where each classroom is and how to get there. And there were so many cool paintings on the tiles of the ceiling and a bunch of murals that were painted by pe the people who took all four years of art. And that's all that, and that's the end of the tour. It was so much fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm here with Jordan and Duncan. What were your guys' favorite things about eighth grade year? Take the microphone. Go. Hi. Um, I think I'd have to say my favorite thing was um, Mr. D's class, fifth period, right after lunch. Um, that was pretty swaggy. Um. um. Mr. D's class with um. Fourth period with Waylon. That was fun. Also, I'd just like to give a shout out to um, um, my master, um, and my uh, and my mother and my father. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, who do I have here with me? Waylon Stahl, Lakai. Okay, what was your guys' favorite thing about coming to school here? <sighs> Probably my friends. Nothing. Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm here with D'Angelo and Caleb. Caleb, uh, what were you guys' favorite things about eighth grade year? Uh, Hold the microphone. Thank you. Um, uh, Go. Uh, oh, Mr. Feely's class. Why? Because I get to like smell wood. I like right. put it on my finger and like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> D'Angelo, yeah. you weren't here for lunch. Lunch. Lunch? <laughs> Why lunch? Food. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. Food. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Who do we have with me today? Uh, my name is Dylan Schwab. What was your favorite part of going to school at Lewis and Clark? Um, probably the sports, like football and basketball. That's my favorite thing about this place. Yeah, we destroyed the other schools in football. Oh yeah, we're better. Mhm. Mm Thank you though. Yeah. With Caleb and Carson, what were your guys' favorite things about eighth grade year? Um, I really liked science class um, because of all the fun labs that we did. Um, I really liked history because it was a blast hanging out with all the boys there. Yeah, I just really enjoyed history. Talking about, you know, Jackson, that was probably my favorite part about history, and that really made me happy. All right, thank you. I'm Allie, and I'm here with Mr. Mack, and I'm. what was your favorite part about teaching the 8th graders this semester year thing? This semester, okay. Uh, so my favorite part is the relationships that I built with the students, okay. I think Lewis and Clark... I joke around saying Ben Steele kids are awesome. They're not, okay? I'm a Lewis guy, all right? So, uh, no, the kids here are just unbelievable. Uh, the staff, teachers, and it's only a minute from my house, so it's perfect. Um, I got to say the relationships were just unbelievable. I have great kids. I can't name one kid who I dislike, and that's about it. Okay, short and sweet, yeah. And all of you are extremely smart and going to have great futures. Okay. And it's been an honor being here. This is my last week, unfortunately. So we're going to do some fun stuff this week and come holler at me. Sound good? All right. Good, thank you. Okay. Hi. I'm here with Mr. Jensen. Mr. Jensen, what was your favorite part about teaching all these eighth graders this year? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Who do I have with me? Triton. And Carter. What was your favorite thing about going to school here? M Mr. Feely. Okay, who do I have with me? Wrigley. And? Issa. What was your favorite thing about going to school here? Um, I'd have to say the cafeteria corn dogs and corn for lunch. 
my favorite thing <laughs> was all the friends I made. What friends? Crack a lack in my jokesters. Today we're doing joke segment about old people because the eighth graders think they're old. Anyways, uh, you know, you know what? You, when you're getting old, when your uh, cake is a your, the candles on your cake is a fire hazard. Anyway, uh, another one is uh, you know you're getting old when your doctor refers you to an archaeologist. Thing. Ancient. Anyway, uh, old people are just young people who have been alive for a very, very long time. Okay, anyway, what do you call someone who enjoys Mondays? We're tired. Anyway, anyway, my jokesters, today we are, this is the last time you will ever be seeing me do joke segments. Well, for this year, maybe, I might not be returning. I will see you guys maybe next year. Hello, I'm Maddie, and welcome back to Food Spotlight. So, since this is my last Food Spotlight, I decided to talk about one of my favorites, strawberry shortcake. Now, one quick fact about this lovely dessert is that the earliest found recipe for strawberry shortcake was found in Miss Leslie's Ladies Recipe Book, which was published in 1847. And in the late 19th century, strawberry shortcake parties were very popular. Originally, the dessert was strawberries over biscuits, but over time, the icing was replaced with whipped cream and the biscuits were replaced with either angel food cake or sponge cake. This yummy treat still enjoyed today. Thank you so much for watching this food spotlight and have a lovely rest of your day. Johnny, start the video now. Okay. I'm Izzy and I'm Ali, and this is teacher shoutouts. So first, uh, we have Gracie. She's shouting out Miss Rambled. Why? Is because she loves English class. And Miss Rambled is a really, really fun teacher. Um, next, we have Elsie shouting out Miss Mackey, who's a special education teacher. Um, she says that Miss Mackey is a great teacher and makes you feel welcome. I also love Miss Mackey. Mm -hmm. Okay, next is Avery, and she's shouting out Miss Watterson. And why? It's because Miss Watterson makes everyone, she makes sure everyone understands and has a chance to get caught up with the. Um, with the class. <laughs> um, I, oh, whoopsies. I am shouting out um, Miss McQuillan and Miss Overweiser, or Mr. Mirsev, formerly known. Um, Mr. Mirsev was very welcoming and helpful when I was sick and out of school for a couple, for like a month and a half. Um, she helped me get caught up my work and just ended up making me feel totally welcome all the time in her class. And Miss McQuillan, I've been with her since sixth grade. Uh, she's an amazing, she teaches choir, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I've been with her since sixth grade. I love her so much. Mm -hmm. Flip the page. Okay. Um, Maddie is shouting out Miss Leffler and Mr. Dees. And why is because they made science fun. Um, Zoe is shouting out all of her teachers. Zoe says that all of her teachers have been amazing all throughout the years. She loves all of them equally, and that she just she's gonna miss them so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am shouting out Mr. Jensen. Because <laughs> yes, Mr. Jensen. Also, congratulations on winning the. Um, We're very proud Apple of you. <laughs> um, I'm shouting him out because. Uh, He's Mr. Jensen. Yeah, and also his class is very interesting and it's fun, and. Six and seventh graders, you just look forward to that. There's so much fun stuff on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. New things every day. Yeah, there's probably gonna be new stuff when you get in there. Anyways, last one. Finally, uh, we have Brayden. Um, he is shouting out Mr. Jarvis because he gives everyone a great time and makes class super fun. All right. Well, that's the end of it. Bye. Bye. I'll see Johnny, you in the video. Eddie. Er, the, 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 the. Johnny kept this out. Um, hi, I'm Gracie, and since this is our last Scout Press episode of the year, I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite things about Scout Press and how to sign up next year. So, um, Avery, Johnny, Teddy, Cash, Allie, and Zoe all like having fun with their friends here. Um, Shayla and Izzy like having something to do after school. Brayden likes having fun with everyone, and Elsie likes to meet new people. Um, if you want to join in all the fun and Scout Press, applications to sign up will be open at the beginning of next school year. 
thank you, bye. Hi, um, I am Johnny, and I am going to be asking the 8th graders of Scout Prep some questions about middle school in general. So, first one is, what were some false impressions about middle school that you guys had in 5th and 6th grade? Some false impressions I had were that I was going to get uh, drowned in homework, but thankfully that didn't happen, and I was really glad. I thought that I was going to get a locker, but guess what? I did not get a locker. A false impression I had was that it would be really hard to make friends, but middle school is pretty welcoming. What is your current impression on high school? A lot of people that went to my elementary school are going to be there, and I'm going to have to see them again. And there's some people that I don't want to see again. That there are a bunch of groups. Would you say you overall like just enjoyed middle school? Like, was it a pleasant experience? It's super welcoming, and all of the teachers are really nice to everyone. Like, immediately made friends when I got here, and all the teachers are so understanding. Like, it seemed scary at first, but it wasn't as like you got into middle school and stuff. I love it here. I love coming every day. I just I, I don't like waking up early, but. I, I love school now. I didn't before, but I do now. Are there any good slash bad middle school experiences that you might tell as an adult? Um, <laughs> I have one friend from my old school. I'm not gonna say her name because I probably should not do that. that. That's that's not a good idea. But anyway, so she was my only friend and I had no classes with her so I'd only see her at lunch and we would always sit together. But I remember one day she made another friend and she kicked me out of our spot just so she could sit with her other friend. So I was forced to go sit with some random people, this person and this person. <laughs> and that is how I met Elsie and Allie. And then that just kind of- We still sit together. Yeah. I think probably because we didn't have any lockers, I was very excited to like in middle school that we would get to like decorate lockers and have like these fun little mirrors and like get like all the stuff and stuff and yeah. magnets, yeah. I but did. Tiny we didn't balls. sadly yeah the <laughs> school balls and like that stuff but we didn't sadly it was very sad and like the masks and stuff was kind of annoying mm -hmm. but i'm glad it's like we don't have to wear masks anymore but i still would want like a locker I, you make new friends and like with teachers if you don't like one of your teachers in sixth grade they try really hard to like have you have help you have a good experience like in middle school so if you're struggling in one of their classes there's always the next year and just remember they're trying really hard to help you learn and do the best they can. Probably a good experience that I would tell is how easy it is to make friends. Cause I came here not really knowing anyone cause I was a quiet kid at my elementary. And then <clears throat> probably seventh grade, I met Maddie and then I met everyone else. A uh, good experience I had was definitely starting Scout Press cause that also made me meet other friends. I think that'd be it. Um, yeah, I want a big bye, I guess. Bye! bye.